Hey everyone, Aaron, Prepping Ohio. So, we're in the RV, as you can tell. Uh, tonight, I'm going to try to get my TV moved off of the corner of this cabinet. This is a cabinet here above the stove. Uh, I'm going to move it from here to up there-ish, somewhere right there. Uh, the reason why is when I'm in the RV moving around, the only time I can see the television is if I'm sitting on the couch. And there's a lot more RV this way than there is this way. So that's what I'm going to try to do. Uh, yeah, you probably noticed my stupid hat and my stupid beard thing. Uh, I'm not a hipster. I look like one, except for my very bright shirt. Uh, this was a, a gift, a failed attempt at a reconciliation. Uh, fail. Uh, the beard thing, it, I'm coming up on 37, so I thought, you know, maybe I could just try to grow a beard. Still can't. I look like Joe Dirt. Can you see? Nothing here. Nothing here. I guess I am ingrained with white trash DNA. So, uh, that crap's coming off either tonight or tomorrow. Uh, I tried, went a couple days, didn't work. I'll try again in another 10 years. Maybe I'll be better at growing hair on my face. Anyway, that's what I'm going to try to do. I'm going to try to center it above the window to where I can still operate the window uh, without blocking a whole lot. Uh, and it feels weak right here but it feels pretty rigid over here and I don't know if you can see in the camera but there's been a lot of things screwed to this wall in the past hopefully I bite into something enough to to hold this television up there let's see what happens so to remove the TV from its current mount um, I don't know if you can see this wire in the way here. There's a mount that goes on the back of the TV, then there's a mount that screws to the wall. There's a little tab here that bends back, and then the TV just lifts right up off of that. And this mount in here is what I'm going to try to attach to the wall. So the TV's down, it just you push that little tab back, and it slides up off this. This is a solid metal bracket that's got a little leveling thing right there just just like any kind of level uh, I'm gonna see if I can get it off there without too much trouble I'm gonna come right out. There's, oops, there it is that's it this little bracket and you can see the, the leveling thing inside there a little bubble bounce back and forth that's kind of cool. So, uh, coaxial. This is a coaxial from uh, the antenna that I just found. You saw in my last video. Uh, it works awesome. I had no idea it was even on there. So, I did drop a screw. There it is. Okay, those screws are just way too long. I need shorter screws. So, I got some shorter screws here. Uh, I had to change the bit into this long, gigantic. There's two Apexes and then a long Robinson, which is a square head. Uh, I use this when I put my solar panels on the roof, and I cannot get this guy out of here now. So it's a permanent fixture, and it's going to be what it is. So I got the screws, and I even put washers on them just to kind of stand them out just a little bit more. Uh, the bracket thing. I'm not going to go with the level because I don't know if the RV is sitting perfectly level. I'm gonna center him. Whoops. Yeah. Uh -huh. I'm gonna center him right about there. Looking at it square, it looks pretty darn good ish. So I'm gonna put the screw right in the middle and see. I hope you can see this if this will work. That part comes out. The other part doesn't. It's in there. Okay. Let's go ahead and get the other screw in here. And then we'll see if we can hang the TV. I hope you can see this. Okay. Get that in there nicely. Uh, <coughs> now, uh, the TV thing. 
All right, let me see something first. So I didn't like the way that screw went in. Uh, the mount seemed a little wiggly. I backed it out and changed the angle. Went right in. It's fine. Very solid now. It's not moving. Uh, so, all right, let's see if we can hang this thing up. I, you probably won't be able to see what I'm doing here. Uh, I think I can keep that above the mount. Maybe I can do this without looking. How about that? Okay. That is pretty cool. So, now I just need to hide the wires ish and uh, see if I need some power on over here eventually. Yeah, and I can still access the window. The latch is right here. This is just a blanket. It's not a it's not a real curtain or anything. It's kind of just it's got a little thumbtack. This is how it was when I got it. So don't don't think that this is something that I would normally do. Uh, but it works. Sort of. And yeah, so now if I'm over here doing dishes or cooking, I can still see the TV. I can see the TV while I'm sitting on the couch. Uh, even back in the back part of the RV, I'll still be able to see. So, uh, it looks relatively square, too. Okay, well, on to the next project. Okay, so I started to mount a light up under this cupboard here. This, whoops, sorry. This cupboard. The 12 volt lights don't work here. And I'm just going to pull everything out of there. And, uh, run new wiring and everything so uh, until then I wanted to get my fluorescent light working this is not this is the this goes to a space heater uh, you'll hear a beep if I get power to it and I don't have power to it this is the fluorescent light that I was gonna mount uh, I have 110 everywhere else but not to this receptacle there's no terminals on the side here you can see Usually you couldn't do that with uh, the newer receptacles. These are the kind that plug directly into the back and it, the receptacle itself pinches the wires. Uh, there's no ground wire on it. Uh, this thing, a bunch of dust, look at that gunk. This thing did work and then one side didn't and then now nothing does. So, I don't know what's going on here. Uh, it has those weird screws that look like the Batman symbol. Let me, let me show you here. Whoops. Okay, I don't know what you can see. Sorry, let me adjust things here. Uh, yeah, here on the tripod, so just bear with me while I take you off the tripod. It has those weird Batman looking screws that hold the receptacle in. Down there too. <laughs> Looks like Batman. So yeah, whoops. Okay. Yeah, I don't know. I think I gotta trace some wires, but it's dark outside now and I really don't want to mess with that. So uh, I may end up just mounting the light fixture and then checking the wiring out on this tomorrow. You can see there's no terminals on the side. The wires just plug right in the back. But now, there's a short somewhere. I don't know if it's in the receptacle or who knows where. So, okay. Well, I guess I'll just go on to the next project. Uh, not that I don't have a lack of projects. Yeah, alright, let's see what we're doing. So, I moved this light over here. I uh, decided that I'd work on the converter box and the the AC. I wanted to see what was going on. I got my voltmeter set up here. Uh, let's see what's going on here. Uh, we're on 200 volts DC. And I know you probably can't see on the inside because I'm probably going to get in the way. Let's see if I can get some light in there for you to see. Uh, there's two wires here. This white wire and this red wire back here. Uh, that one. And this one. Those go to the house battery. Uh, well, I'm going to see what we got with my leads. So you can see along with me if I can get my arm out of the way. 
Hopefully you'll be able to see what's going on here. Uh, can you see that? Yeah. We're at 12.2. Okay. Let me start up the inverter. Or, I'm sorry, not inverter. It's a converter box. Uh, you can see my breath. A lot of cold air coming in from there. That is what charges the house battery. Now, if I can put these back on, oops, whoa, don't want to do short and stuff. I'll put this stuff back on here. <laughs> I'm down to 12.1. Probably just because I shorted everything. But I think if I let this stuff run for a little bit, that will go up. So, let's check back in a little bit. Uh, so, it's been, I don't know, maybe 10 minutes or something. Yeah. Uh, Maybe, maybe a little longer than that. Maybe, maybe 15? Let's see what we've got going on. Can you see? Yeah, okay. Yeah, you can see it on our arm. We're at 12.3. Look at that. Maybe you can see that. Uh, yeah, 12.3. So this charges the battery, the onboard house battery. Uh, and there's... You probably can't see this here. Let me get you off of that stand. Uh around here where you can see there's three other circuits in here right there right there and right there there's fuses actually just looking now I think I see one that's blown uh, if I can get some light and if this thing will focus I'm kind of using the camera to look I would say that first one is probably blown and I keep losing focus. But I think that one right there, I think it's blown. Well, that may explain why some of my DC lighting is not working. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm going to shut this off. I shut it off right here, by the way. Okay, let me zoom way out. <laughs> okay, we don't need to zoom way in. This is the breaker for that. For the buzz. Okay. Yeah, so... Uh, yeah, that... May be my problem, but there's a short somewhere that caused that fuse to blow. So... Guess I gotta figure that out now. Uh, another project on the list.